point cloud data is stored as millions of points. Autodesk Recap is a separate application created specifically for working with these massive data sets. You can use Autodesk Recap to convert scanned file data into a proprietary Autodesk format that can be viewed and edited using other Autodesk products such as AutoCAD. Autodesk Recap is installed along with AutoCAD by default, and you can launch it from the Windows Start menu, from the Autodesk Recap desktop icon, or from inside AutoCAD. To start Autodesk Recap from inside AutoCAD, on the Insert ribbon in the Point Cloud panel, click the Autodesk Recap tool. When you start Autodesk Recap, you may see a welcome screen with an offer to unlock a 30-day trial of Recap Pro. Recap Pro offers additional features, such as the ability to improve accuracy by adding survey points or known distances to scans, and the ability to lock scans to site coordinates. While Autodesk Recap is free, Recap Pro is subscription-based and can be purchased on a monthly, quarterly, or annual basis. These lessons deal only with the free Autodesk Recap software. Click Got It Thanks to simply close this welcome screen or stop showing me this if you no longer want to see this welcome screen whenever you start Recap. Now, you see the Autodesk Recap home screen as well as the last project you worked on. If you have not used Recap before, you see the sample project that was loaded when you installed Recap. Tools across the upper portion of the screen enable you to start a new project, open other projects, adjust program preferences, open the Autodesk Recap help file, and display information about Autodesk Recap. Also in the upper right, you can sign into your Autodesk 360 account. Tools in the lower portion of the screen enable you to open the last project you worked on, open other recent projects, or exit from Autodesk Recap. Click to open the last project, the Autodesk Recap sample project. Autodesk Recap immediately opens the Point Cloud project file. The Point Cloud fills the screen and you can see the various recap tools. Along the left side of the project screen, you can see the project menu. When you move the cursor over one of the tiles, it expands to show that particular menu. For example, when you move the cursor over the home tile, it expands so you can access tools for saving files, opening files, publishing the project to Recap 360, importing additional scans, exporting the current state of the project as a single scan, viewing registration results, adjusting program preferences, displaying online help, and exiting from the program. When you move the cursor over one of the other tiles, it expands to show other tools. Most of these have additional flyouts that expand and collapse as you hover the cursor over them. The project menu also includes tools for adjusting the point cloud display, working with limit boxes, navigating within the point cloud using tools such as Pan and Orbit, and providing feedback to Autodesk about the product. In the lower left, the Undo and Redo tools reverse the previous actions you have taken. Below and to the right of these tools, you can see the coordinates of the point at the current cursor location. 
the contextual menu, which is located along the bottom of the screen, changes to reflect the current activity. For example, if you are editing a limit box, the tool set changes to display tools related to limit boxes. You can click the tool in the lower right to toggle the display of the project navigator. And in the upper right, you see a view cube, which works just like the view cube in AutoCAD. The view cube provides a quick way to change the orientation of 3D views.